Hey everybody, I know my head's cut off, but I just wanted to show you my unboxing of the, I bought this, uh, it is soap melters. This is my first time buying some equipment like this. I just wanted to use this as a way to put a history on, I bought it on March 25th, 2021, and I received it uh, on Tuesday, which is March, I'm sorry, April 13th shall I say? Yeah, a April 13th, it got shipped to me, ground. Uh, it's called the Primo 7 Melting Tank. So, um, yeah, I'm just gonna unbox it to show you guys kind of uh, what it looked like. It's like having a present, oh my God. Uh, it came in a large box. So I put that out because it's really not necessary. And they do um, wrap it, as you can tell, pretty well. Uh, just be careful of all the styrofoam that just sticks everywhere. Um, I don't like styrofoam, but hey, whatever protects my equipment, I guess, at this point. it up but not it not too heavy let's put it this way my microwave over there is heavier than this soap melter I got the soap melter because I don't think anybody in YouTube shares the kind of equipment they use here's the here's the um the the handle so it goes on top to keep it more packing this probably for and they tell you what goes in it like they give a checklist like the unit has been cleaned rubber gasket on valve teflon tape on valve stuff like that um with an inspection probably best to look at it on another way I'll show you in a minute. It's kind of what it looks like inside the melter, just to give you an idea. This right here is supposed to be the hot part. And then this part is what it would be. I, apparently, it you won't feel the heat. So, I mean, there's some little dings here and there, but that's not going to matter because in the long run, it's still a brand new unit. Something like this is about 1200 It's boring. Just keep fast forwarding. Yeah, you know. Heavy as my microwave. Believe it or not. It kinda is, but not really. And just to show you kind of. So when I was researching this unit, I did notice that when people were making pomade, they had this emblem. And I was thinking like, could it be them? I don't know, who cares, right? Because it's made in the USA, which is the coolest part, and it gives you up and down um, the menu system. I'm sure we'll tell you the Celsius and all that, and then I'm sure this is the on button here to heat it up. So, really excited. And there's another button here, and I don't know what that is, but I'm sure I'll tell me what it is. Maybe it's a reset button in the back. So I'll show you in a minute. Let me just get rid of all this crap. So when I plug this in, I want to make sure it goes in here, but I want to make sure I can see this as well. This is just where you're going to know um, how hot you're going to have your wax. So I'm really excited to try this, guys. Um, Boxing of this soap melter is amazing. I'm sure it could hold quite a bit of uh, wax and oils. Um, comes with, let's see. Alright. Ooh. Ah. This is what we need 
to add in here. It's the uh, on and off valve. So they galvanized it, I'm sure, I don't know. It comes with this part right here. And I hope it tells us instructions on how to do it. 80 degrees today, guys, Southern California in April. Mid-April is 86 outside and it feels like nothing. Okay, I'm gonna show you around the unit. I know messy, messy area I have here right now. So I've been working on a bunch of things. So here's the, uh, oops, my bad. Okay, so here's the temperature gauge thing and the on and off button probably. And here's where you can plug the unit. And there's this button here. I haven't yet to figure out what that is. And um, so far it's looking good. Here's my heavy microwave. So this is where I would need to put that um, valve to remove the uh, liquids. So if I was to plug it in, it'd be perfect to make sure that this is accessible to me. So I'm going to have to figure that out. So yeah, that's about it. Um, I'll figure out and once it's all operational and everything I will show you. Thanks guys and have a great day. Hey everybody, I just fas fastened it and they didn't really show me how to do it on that folder. But just to let you know, this is the contraption and this is what the valve looks like once you open it. It just kind of opens there, you can't see anything and now the liquids would be out. And then you just close it and you can tell that it's on the closed position because you can't see anything else. So, again, I as fastened it as this is what's left of the, you know, um, uh, whatever it is, how to, fa when I fa fastened it, it's, this is all I have left. I would have tried to do another turn, but I think it would have been a little bit more difficult because I don't have the exact strength to keep going all the way, uh, clockwise. So um, yeah, and that's it. Thank you.